On day four, we're learning that God is a friend forever. We'll test out the concept of flotation. Let's focus on the floating egg experiment. You'll need salt, a spoon, and a clear plastic cup about half filled with water. Make sure the cups are at least 16 ounces. The type of salt you use makes a difference. We put one and a half cups of water in our cups and then tested three types of salt. Epsom, sea salt, and iodized salt. Sea salt required the least, while iodized table salt required six tablespoons. Epsom salt needed eight tablespoons. We also noticed that it really made a difference to stir well after each tablespoon to help the salt dissolve. It takes more salt than you might expect to make the egg float. Using a cup will allow you to use less salt, but you'll still want to have plenty on hand. Let's try it. Crews will do this together. Place the egg carefully into a clear cup with water. Before this experiment, kids have tested what can float in water from a faucet. Water from the tap is different from ocean water. One big difference is that ocean water is salt water, and salt water behaves a little differently from fresh water. That's because the salt makes the water heavier. The salt dissolves in the water and can help hold things up. If we add enough salt to our cups, we'll see our eggs start to float like this. <laughs> Kids will take turns adding spoonfuls of salt and gently stirring to dissolve the salt each time. Again, it matters when we let kids take part in these and not just watch. Practice adding salt to make an egg float so you know approximately how much each crew will need for the containers you have. That egg reminds me of something. It reminds me that we've all done bad things and not done the good things God wants us to do. That's called sin. And sin makes us sink like the egg. And on our own, there's nothing we can do to get unsunk. Our friend God knew that was a big problem because he loves us so much. So he sent his son Jesus to come and save us. Jesus is like the salt in our water. Jesus came to save us. Like the salt lifted the egg, Jesus lifts us up out of sin. And Jesus helps us live with God forever. God is a friend forever. On day four, we also get to experiment with some amazing floating message paper from the Crew Teaching Kit. It saves time to grab these sheets from the Crew Teaching Kits ahead of time and prep them. Cut apart the verses on each sheet, making sure to cut just outside the black lines rather than directly on the lines. Paper clip the slips together so the messages from one sheet are all clipped together. This gives kids in each crew a variety of verses to choose from. Now, let's get to the experiment. Paper normally would float, but today we have some paper that's a bit unusual. What do you think would happen if I put this paper in water? Let's see if you're right. Each crew will do this around their own bowl of water. Crew leaders will read the messages to kids who may need a little help. These are special messages from God's Word. Each person will choose one that means the most to you. Love each other. Gently set your message into the bowl so it's resting on top of the water. I'll let that sit for a bit, no touching. Kids will join in singing one of their favorite Scuba VBS songs while the messages rest. Here's a tip. We tested this with warm and cold water, assuming that warmer water would dissolve the paper more quickly, but it actually took longer in warm water. After singing a song, kids take a look at their papers without touching. The words are floating, but the paper is gone. Why do you think that happened? That paper was a special kind of paper made to fall apart in water. And it was printed with a special kind of ink that doesn't smudge when it gets wet. Instead, the letters stayed together and floated. The paper didn't last. Even things like mountains and oceans that seem permanent won't last forever. But God is a friend forever. Listen to these words Jesus said in Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth will disappear, but my words will never disappear. The words on our papers were words from God, 
and God's words last forever. God is a friend forever.